Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the possible finale of Bastion. So, finally, after countless of grinding in who knows where trip, kid trip a couple of times, singer stream, survivor dream, I better not mispronounce that as stranger stream because that's gonna be an entire uh, trip on its own that uh, Lux have yet to reveal, so. Yeah, that's gonna be something. Alright. So, in the last story related uh, progression. He's a little gruff at times. <laughs> we got Sia back from Sultan's Hollow that we previously thought that she was quote unquote kidnapped or something uh, during our visit at Urzendra Gate. Sylph and his countrymen now hold the final shard. Without it, the past cannot be restored. And I also completed Mansur Observatory in a couple of the mini episodes or something. Well, not exactly mini because I actually did certain efforts to get those uh, episodes done. But I had fun with that. The observatory is safe and sound, though there's a little left to observe. Sultan's Hollow, Sia left the Bastion of her own accord. Now the way is clear to her and Sylph's ancestral home. And the entire Ura. Uh, should I say race? Probably race or something. Also, I managed to collect myself this much, this much of a uh, stray fragment. I may as well just gonna start to purchase things. Yeah, this is what I've been planning all along. For some reason, the mouse automatically brings me to the last position that I uh, clicked before this pop up uh, appeared. So far, that's all that I can purchase. And then, I'm gonna forge all these weapons. So, I want to pick... Ooh, power shot damage, 100%. Custom crafted tubing delivers a greater explosive impact when fired from a specific specific range, sorry. Dampen the tubing, 15% plus critical hit chance. FX stacks with blast system. Insulated materials prevent overheating, unlocking the full destructive potential of each shell. If anything, I prefer the power shot damage. The Armada sure could have used one of these back in the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Inferno propellant. Bombs create damage fields. Ooh. A dangerous mixture that reacts with the shell explosion, leaving behind a field of intense heat. And then this one. Immunity to bomb damage. Huh. An experimental mixture designed to protect the user from the explosive impact. Of a shell, shell detonation. Oh my! Hell, do I want this? If I were to use Kelly Mortar in this area, you know what? Yes, please. A pinch of fairy dust, and it's all set. Yes, you are right, Rux. All right. And five more hundred, five more thousands for our friendly calamity cannon. Um, incendiary fuel cell. I actually read this in a couple of episodes before, but uh, I'm not sure if it's recorded. Uh, efficient fuel fuel cell plus 25 charge speed. Effects stack with turbo generator. Each rocket is fitted with a fuel canister that ignites faster than normal for improved launch speeds. Oops, and then there's this one for incendiary fuel cell, FX stacks with blast generator with the blast radius extra. Each rocket is fitted with a fuel cell designed to amplify the explosive radius of the warhead. I prefer efficient fuel cell. Take my word for it. Don't ever drop one of those. Ooh. All right, trucks. And then there's the last one here, tracker processor, rocket seek out force. Yes. All I need in this kind of hard time with Calamity Cannon. An intricate series of punch cards used to automatically calculate target trajectories. And 
and there's this one as well. Rockets create damage fields. A state-of-the-art punch card machine that causes a calculated fuel leak on impact. Brother, I'm gonna take the tracking processor. Looks like a little science project is all set. And there you have it. All weapons upgraded like a boss. And that's everything. Mother knows he's paid his dues in that forge. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, man at arms. Hell yeah, Rux. Hell yeah. And for that, we're going to definitely have this bombardment set in our visit, incoming visit at the Tassel Terminals. Mother knows if this is going to work, if like ever. All right. Manser missile, an experimental ordnance that breaks into a cluster of explosives on impact, spreading destruction. A small-scale prototype of the device that caused the calamity. And it has this third surprise, a special shell that splits open on impact to reveal a security turret hardwired to defend the user. First used by the Salandian Armada as a deterrent against privateers. Hmm. Bomber, it seems nice. Calamity rocket also seems nice as well, but uh, I aim to experiment on things. There's this one that we got burning carousal, a technique causing the user to spin while spouting flames, created by an infamous circus performer whose craft concerned him more than the safety of others. Breaching bullet, our combined skill, a special bullet that lodges inside the target and explodes shortly thereafter. Some frowned on this device, but no one denied its effectiveness. <laughs> Final warning, scrap musket skill. A blast sends strike up into the air, causing a flurry of projectiles to rain down on the area. Sorry. Not effective as a warning, but very effective otherwise. Is there anything else? Yeah, that's all. Okay, I am going to experiment with turret surprise. And see what Rox says when we just pick the set. Okay, now that's just plain overkill. I mean, come on. <laughs> Rox, think about it. We want to get the job done, right? We want to get the job done, so may as well just do that, right? Come on, dude. Come on. All right. Hmm. Thirty-three percent speed. Okay, I have a couple of uh, things that I want to test around. Bull Brandy plus 15% damage resistant, Fistus beverage brewed as an offering to Pit, known for promoting longevity and resistance to pain. Hmm. Bull Brandy seems nice. And then what else? Hmm. Damage. I think I've had enough with the rest of them. I think. I take an useless shade just fine. Mender meat, fine. I need to regain my health in some ways, man. Just saying. Bold brandy is thicker than paint. Makes your skin feel as tough as knife bark. <laughs> yeah, alright. You know what? I'm good with the set. Nearly reaching 10 minutes already for this one. And we're good to go the, to the Tazzle Terminals. We got Sylph here and probably the Shard as well because for some reason only Sylph detected, not the Shard, but we'll see about that. He bides his time with the remains of the Aura's massive underground sprawl. The Tazzle Terminals, all that's left of the Aura's civilization. And the last stop on his little journey. Last stop on his little journey. Rocks, I wonder if you can actually predict the future. It's gonna be a trip. Showtime. Once you enter this area, there is no turning back. Are you ready? Well? Let's go. Sia fled the bastion when the Earl attacked to learn the truth of what happened to her people. I can't hear him at all anymore. 
is too far away. But he'll be all right. I might have done a little bit of a mistake as well. Uh, I forgot to set my... What is it? Set my atlas as well. Oh my god! They removed the option to go back to the Bastion. My god. If we will die, we will die. Uh, uh, why are you leading towards there? I don't get it. But fine. Where should we go first? Oh. Just needs to get that oh. shard from Zolf and come on home. Oh god! What was that? Oh yeah, right. I didn't have that. Where should I go? What is this? All right. The calamity hit the Tazzle terminals hardest of all. Ah yes, this music. You know why it's all from back there. Hmm. The place was his home. Hmm. I don't want to be near me. Be there all alone. Just wait. You know what's funny? <gasps> are waiting for a kid that will destroy them all eh never expected that coming eh hey 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 Um, God damn it. Okay. Look around. There's not much left to do here in the bastion, I'm afraid. 
So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? Hmm. Rox is telling the story to Zia, holy hell. Only Selandia though. All this mess that we've been made so far in under five minutes. Well, we can only all hope about that, right? Hey, hey, hey. Well then. Problem is, we'll all be gone. God damn it! Self so return to the Tassel Terminus with the shard to await the fall of the Bastion. No, we're not gonna die. It's more like <gasps> all of this will just stop. Oh my God! I have six of this <laughs> items active. Damn it! Uh, yeah, cool. The calamity right beneath our foot. This whole place is a living record of the times before the calamity. The way things were. Before this story. Hmm. Oops. 
Oh, hello. Hopscotch. Oh, I can hop this time. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. When and how and why and how did I get him? Alright. An interesting thing so far. self again. Hmm. <gasps> oh god. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. Some of them. Unfortunate. I'm curious. I'm still curious to go somewhere. Mortar, my friend. Security, my friend. Turning back, we're going on. Wouldn't you agree? Damn it. Well, Skyway. There's nothing more to say. <gasps> Ow! Crap.
<laughs> still going on, yeah. Yeah, Rox. I'm still here. Look. There's something else. A confession. Mm hmm? Oh my god, I got to level 10 actually! What's the confession, Rox? We gotta tell you more of the story. How come I know so much about the past, John? Mm hmm? You remain, sir. That's for a record. Oh yeah, I didn't know this. Taking this health tonics when I'm already full will grant me more of the uh, HP. XP, sorry. I forgot about this thing, god damn it. Where is it? Did they fall? I been oops. Sign the place, but that's beside the point. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Whoa. Yeah, that got me. That got me. There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. Mm hmm. You can't test it. Mm hmm. Definitely. Tell me about it. Oh. Is it possible that the Ur actually came from that spot? I just think that seems to be the case. Oh, hello. A lot of straight fragments. Oh my! That's a lot of more. <laughs> uh. So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. Oh. Oops. What's to stop it from happening again after the bastion does its thing? Mm. Don't have a good dinosaur for that, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good. And the music stops. The answer is... <laughs> I wish I can destroy that or something. No. Oh god. I don't know. God damn it, Rox. So much for the goddamn anticipation, eh? Sia's father, Fan, documented his work for Sailonius Mancer in the Hidebound Journal. Sia's father is Fan. You're wondering if there ain't some other way out of this mess. It's alright. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless... Unless you wanted to stay here... With us. What is this? 
What is this? This looks scary. Oh. Where should I go from here? Ah, the switches. I don't recognize that symbol. Oh boy. Well, that's sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. Rux? Don't say that. on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. Holy heck! Alright! This is the whole new level, are we? Damn! Alright. Cannot roll, cannot jump, but gotta ram it! Bastion does have another function, strictly speaking. What will that be? If ever the monument blew out and we couldn't repair it, we could still evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we detonate the cores, and we take off away from here. Hmm. Oh God! That's massive damage. My God. I believe that contains certain metaphor resonant drugs. Of course, that would mean no going back. Ever. But then again, that way all of us could leave the city. Together. Hmm. The Bastion's auxiliary function was designed to enable a mass evacuation of Ceylonia's people. You know, Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard for the fight, don't you? Done just like that. Yeah. You good, man? Yeah. The way to solve is gonna be still long, huh? Not that 
connection. Should be no way to discover any secrets anymore around this part, eh? Zolf dedicated his life to a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. Yeah! What happened with that part? <gasps> First off, that's a reflective shift. Reflex shift. And second of all, that slime is so strong. See? Okay. I don't get I don't gain any more HP since I've gone to level 10. It's suspected. Oh god! He can't have imagined the city would try to wipe the era out. No more charge too, huh? Shard must reach shard. You could go, man. You tried to warn you about the plans. You tried to warn you here. Give me the shard, damn it. And if you wanna go? And if you wanna go? God damn! Yeah, I ain't learning, are ya? Resolve, this ain't a personal matter. Give it to me, Zolf. You know you're a good boy. Just want a good piece here. Ouch. Oh boy. You wanna go? Go! Ah. Uh. Sorry, Zolf. Oh god. Is this worth it? Is this really worth it? Well, we got it. One thing's for sure, the Ura can't be happy that the kid followed Zolf all the way home. I still, I'm still not sure, is that Zolf or is that a fellow Ura hunter? Oh my god. Hey! <gasps> so! <gasps> oh 
God. I need to choose. Move on, abandon Sylph's body, and press forward with the battering ram. Sylph's situation is hopeless and a distraction. His plan to avenge the Ura only brought more suffering. All that matters is the safe return of the shard. And we can also take Sylph. Abandon the battering ram and pick up Sylph's body instead. Sylph is badly injured but breathing. It appears his countrymen turned on him as the situation grew desperate. He nearly destroyed the bastion, and yet... Can I cancel this? Can I cancel this? Oh, wait. But if I cancel this, I only just... Yeah. I only just delay that part. Oh god. Oh god.